Thank you, Dr. Fox, for that kind introduction. I also want to thank Vice President Marks and Vice President Harbor for being here today. A big thank you to Dean Agoris for her leadership of the college and to the Geography Department for their support over the years. I would like to welcome our guest speaker, Mr. Leland Melvin, whose talk, I'm sure, will be out of this world. We also extend a special welcome to the representatives and graduates from the Enlisted to Medical Degree Preparatory Program and thank them for their service. Of course, none of us would be here today without the support from our family and friends, so a huge welcome and thank you to them. And now, the reason we are all here today I want to welcome the graduates from the College of Science Class of 2018. Now, I have to say, it feels strange to be here without my saxophone, since I have spent so much time here as part of the Green Machine. There are so many memories right there in those bleachers, and I am thankful for all that I have gotten to experience thanks to Doc Nix and the Green Machine. They were a very important part of my Mason experience. My time here at Mason has been life-changing, and I could not have grown as much anywhere else. When I was touring colleges and high school, each university I went to felt different. Some felt too fancy for me, but Mason always felt like home. Everyone here is so kind and supportive, and that just makes you feel like you belong. I am so glad I decided to spend my undergraduate years here because Mason has allowed me to grow as a person and to participate in things I did not even think were possible, such as being a member of the number one pet band in the country and not only playing at basketball games, but also performing alongside Grammy award-winning artist Lady Antebellum. In the summer of 2017, I was even fortunate enough to intern at NASA. I've had the chance to meet amazing people who share my interests and together we started a student organization focused on humanitarian mapping. I am so proud of my fellow Mason mappers and all we have accomplished since we first started out in 2015. These experiences, combined with competing in an iWeek dance competition, earning a coveted intramural sports champions t-shirt, and joining a funk band taught me a lot about myself. That I can be a leader, that I can be brave, and that I can do anything I set my mind to. But I did not always have it figured out. I came here with the intent to major in psychology and minor in music with a plan to eventually combine the two and work as a music therapist. I had no idea geography was even an option for me until I signed up for a fun elective called Maps and Mapping. Immediately, I was hooked. The professor was passionate about maps and geography, and on the first day of class, we jumped right in with hands-on learning by creating topographic maps from Plato. I changed my major as soon as I could and have not looked back. Changing my major freshman year worked out really well for me since with the Bachelor of Arts in Geography, I could graduate an entire year early. While I am sad to be leaving this part of my life behind me, there's one thing I'm happy to be leaving here, the geese. Oh my gosh, the geese. They're everywhere, they're mean, and honestly, we're all kind of afraid of them. But seriously, time has flown by and I'm going to miss this place. I'm sure everyone here has had some amazing experiences thanks to Mason, and that we have all been changed in some way by our decision to make Mason our home. I am sure by now you are wondering what exactly someone with a geography degree can do for a living. That's okay, I get that a lot. Everyone always looks confused and asks, what can you do with a geography degree? And my response is, what can't you do with a geography degree? There is so much more to the field than just knowing where things are. What is especially cool about geography is that lots of disciplines and fields use it without even realizing. We can relate geography to what our friends in biology, environmental science, and forensic science are doing because there is a spatial aspect to almost any problem. If it happens on the Earth, we can map it. I am so excited to be part of a growing field that has applications in so many areas, so be sure to keep me in mind if you ever need somebody to make a map. 
But really, though, something could be said to any degree. What can't we do with a degree from the College of Science? We are graduating from a Tier 1 research university, and that is something we should all be proud of. As we get ready to greet the future, we should all take a moment in the chaos of planning and packing to think back on what we have learned about ourselves during our time at Mason and how we can positively impact wherever we end up next. While at Mason, the College of Science has afforded us many opportunities to make a difference on campus and in the community by, enc by encouraging us to be involved in research and student organizations. By continuing to be involved in your community and continuing to grow and learn, we will be honoring the university that gave us so much. I am in awe of the talented researchers and innovative scientists sitting before me. We took our own paths to get here today and have great futures ahead of us, even if we do not know what they will look like yet. The future feels like it will be here any minute, and I am nervous to start out on my own, but I know that I am ready and that you are too. We have been studying and preparing for this since we started here years ago, and we are ready to take on whatever happens next. Just remember to have fun along the way. So here's to us, the great problem solvers, researchers, and scientists of our time. We did this, and we will go on to do so much more. Congratulations, College of Science, Class of 2018.